Hello guys, this is the first video from our customer interview video series uh, where we are discussing email outreach topics with very interesting companies that use Woodpecker, of course. Uh, and today my guest is Julia from dev to dev Hello, Julia. Hi, Vovik. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. Could you tell a few words about yourself uh, and the company you're working in? Yes, sure. So I'm a lead sales manager at dev to dev and dev to dev is an analytics and live ops platform for games. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't know much about analytics, I can tell you in a couple of words yeah, what it means. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, so this is the platform that collects data about players' behavior inside the game and mm -hmm. presents it in the form of beautiful dashboards and reports mm -hmm. so game developers can make data-driven decisions. Okay. Uh, and also we have a lot of tools for uh, predicting players' behavior, mm -hmm. uh, for live operations. So in the end, it goes beyond just pure statistics. It's also the platform for influencing players' behavior. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of our products that we have at to Dev. I would say this is our main product, uh, but uh, also we have uh, one more interesting uh, service. Uh, it is uh, player support outsourcing. Mm -hmm. uh, it is also connected to game development industry, uh, but here we help uh, game studios to build effective uh, support workflow inside mm -hmm. the company and also give them uh, agents in different languages for outsource to handle their incoming tickets or questions from players. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and uh, who's your target group? Who you are selling to? Mm -hmm. uh, our target group are game developers, uh, and the majority of them are uh, game developers of, of uh, mobile and web games uh, that use free-to-play model to monetize their products. Mm -hmm. um, and if we're talking about the uh, size of the company, um, actually, w some of our clients are leading game companies that occupy top charts in app stores, but uh, we also uh, are available for indie developers. They also mm -hmm. love our pl platform and a lot of them use it. Okay. And when it comes to geographic, so your clients come from all around the world or specific, uh, specific countries? Uh, yes, actually the platform can be used by any developer around the world. I see. We have no limitations, yes. Um, I would say that right now uh, we are working with a lot of companies uh, from CIS region, from mm -hmm. Europe, from Baltics, uh, and um, now we are also trying to reach other regions. Uh, and this is, by the way, where we sometimes use cold email. Uh, what is your role in, in the sales process? Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, first of all, as a lead sales manager, I'm myself involved in the sales process, yes, but also I manage uh, uh, the team of sales managers. I uh, help to organize the work and I'm planning our uh, inbound and outbound activities. Okay. And when it comes to outbound sales, uh, what is your experience? Is it like your first uh, job where you do outbound sales or you've been doing outbound sales uh, previously? And what was your um, first steps uh, in outbound sales? How did you start it? Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, this was my first job with outbound sales, but I must mention here that I joined the company four years ago. Uh, so it was quite a long time ago and uh, at that time uh, we didn't have a big sales team like we do now uh, so we had to build our sales processes to find new clients and at that time this is where we started using cold emails uh, and I had to learn it from the very very beginning. And how did you learn? <laughs> yeah that's a good question because uh, Woodpecker played a great role in that <laughs> yes, <laughs> I must say that your blog is really amazing. I read it on a constant basis. I'm subscribed to your newsletter. And um, especially, as, um, as I told, we were just started building these uh, processes. So for us, we needed this kind of knowledge um, that you provided uh, about your platform and about cold emails mm -hmm. in general. So uh, I learned a lot from these articles. Uh, and uh, also I was encouraging like uh, my teammates to have a look at it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so 
really important question. Do you get clients from this channel? I mean, outbound. Yes, and we do. Cold emails. Yeah. Yes, we do. Uh, but here I must mention that uh, mm, I say my teammates that this is not like the main indicator that we should use when so like about... getting clients, not main indicator. Uh, yes, because <laughs> okay. I will explain my position. Yes, because. Um, uh, we must understand, we are dealing with a very complex SaaS solution mm -hmm. and uh, the sales cycle is very long. So uh, the situation may be when like, you prepare a perfect copy uh, and uh, especially new managers who expect quick results, they're sitting and waiting when clients come straight yeah. away after reading the email. And this is quite rare, mm -hmm. let's be honest. Uh, so then they get disappointed, they lose motivation, they don't mm -hmm. want to sell anymore. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is why I'm saying that uh, the most important indicators are um, your open rate, your response rate, and the amount of uh, calls that you drive from these campaigns. Mm -hmm. But you're talking about this specific part of uh, sales process and main like indicators, if you were doing well or not, in this specific part of process, like getting open rates, getting responses, yeah? Yes. But eventually, uh, you mean that getting clients is important? Of course, <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> uh, well. Okay, yes. I, uh, I understand uh, I understand this. Uh, so you get clients from uh, outbound channel, and the question, what is the role of Woodpecker in, in this process? Getting clients from outbound. Uh -huh. Uh, Woodpecker helps us to make this first step to reach our potential clients. So uh, we create cold email campaigns uh, to developers from different countries and this is our first touch with them probably. Mm -hmm. Yes, then we have other channels as well uh, uh, to attract customers and when you have this you know, um, uh, multi-touches from different sides, then yeah. it, it works. It mm -hmm. works and people start remembering about you. They j just, when they need the analytics, they come and say, hey guys, I remember you sent me an email mm -hmm. and um, you know, this is pretty interesting. Let's chat about it. Okay. And uh, when it comes to uh, the use case, so uh, you, you're talking about cold emails. You talk uh, about um, using uh, Woodpecker to send cold emails, but um, have you considered uh, using Woodpecker, maybe contacting your existing clients, uh, maybe reactivating your old clients? Um, what do you think about that? <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Uh, I must be honest with you, right now we are using Woodpecker mostly for these outbound cold email campaigns where this is the first touch with, uh, with, with potential clients. But uh, we will think more about uh, uh, integrating it more in our uh, you know, customer success processes, mm -hmm. for example, yes. Like uh, being in touch with existing Exactly, yes, this is a good idea. Also, we are planning now to uh, use Woodpecker in our inbound um, sales as well. So basically you have leads uh, that should be converted into clients. That is true, yes. And okay. this, is where, this is where we can use this tool. That's yeah, right. I'm really curious uh, how your stats look like. And uh, could you share your Woodpecker account and show your copy, your stats? Um, of course, <laughs> yes, yes, I can show you. There is no secret. All right, so now we are in our Woodpecker account. These are our campaigns, uh, but I like to organize them in folders. This is more convenient for me. And because right now we are focusing on um, uh, cold email campaigns to different countries, I divided uh, these campaigns by regions. For example, we have uh, our product analytics here and uh, the region Europe. So let's see what we have. Uh, let's take this campaign as an you example. You have really good open rates. So I see that the average is probably 70% open rate. Uh, that's, that's really cool. And response rates are also very good. I mean, cool. You yeah, did thanks. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, for example, in this campaign, this is um, the campaign uh, for PL. It, it means like it, it's Poland, right? Yes, it's Poland. Ah, yeah. See. Yeah. So these are Polish game developers, and you see that uh, we had forty-seven prospects in there, 
Um, I actually, yeah. sorry, I actually have a question because uh, I see that uh, your um, average number of prospects in your campaigns like 40, 50, right? So not a lot of prospects. Why? Because there are no <laughs> many game developers uh, in specific regions uh, or, or you are super targeted. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, there are two reasons. One of them is that we have uh, quite um, a niche target audience. These are not just game developers, these are game developers who uh, work with mobile and web platforms, yes. Uh, also, um, the second reason would be that we try to make these campaigns really narrowly targeted mm -hmm. so that they really match our um, customer uh, ideal customer profile, mm -hmm. because in the end uh, you receive much better statistics, you get more replies. Uh, and yeah, um, that's a great approach. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, and also, do you use any tools to uh, to find uh, to find prospects, uh, prospecting tools? Uh, yes, we try a few, and also sometimes we just use even Google Search or LinkedIn. Uh -huh. So it, I would say it's a combination. It, it's a combination. It's tools together with uh, you know manual search. Okay, got it. Uh, all right, and can we see like content that you send? Yes, let's look at it. So this uh, email chain uh, consists of three emails, so mm -hmm. original emails and two follow-ups. Uh, just, uh, nice, and that's uh, that's high uh, in Polish uh, uh, for those of you that <laughs> do not know Polish language. And okay, I'm a big fan of company games. Okay, it it looks really um, cool. Um, I really you know, like short emails, short cold emails. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I don't like reading uh, long emails. Uh, yeah, you have like question, you have uh, call to action. Uh, some basic personalization. For me, it looks like like good uh, cold email. Uh, and as we see, it works really well. Uh, and the daily limits, 15 prospects a day. So you're staying under your limits. Yeah. Uh, is it a secret what email provider do you use to send uh, cold, um, cold email campaigns? Gmail. G G Suite, <laughs> like G Suite, G Suite premium yeah. version. Yes. Okay. Got it. Uh, thank you so much for sharing uh, sharing your um, your email, your stats, and also, do you use uh, like uh, any CRM to track your customer relationships uh, after you contact them and after you get a reply? Uh, yes, we are using CRM. We are using uh, Amo CRM, if you know mm -hmm. this tool. And this is also, I want to connect it now with Woodpecker mm -hmm. um, so that we have user base in here and in there. To, to automate, uh, to synchronize, yeah, yeah, and maybe to automate uh, some workflows, right? Yes. Um, because we were talking uh, with you about that. The last question, uh, would you recommend uh, Woodpecker to other companies? Definitely, because uh, as just like you, I'm a fan of Woodpecker as well. Okay. Yes, uh, this was uh, my first uh, tool for automating cold emails when we just started with that. Uh, so, and your blog helped me really a lot because you have there such a high standard of uh, materials mm -hmm. uh, and uh, such detailization of every aspect of cold emailing that is really hard to find anywhere else online, mm -hmm. I, I must say. So I'm subscribed to your newsletter and try to read every post on Thursday. Uh, yeah. Carefully, yes, and it really helps me and it helped our team because as I told you we were building our processes right now We have like a, quite a big sales team, but before when we just started um, Like we had to learn from somewhere and your resource was one of the most important resources where we got the information about cold emails Thank you so much for good words. It definitely encourages us. Uh, guys, also, uh, for your information, we have started uh, our Woodpecker blog on YouTube. So if you are more into videos than into text, uh, check it out. Julia, thank you so much for uh, bearing with me today. Uh, wish you a lot of success and dev to dev, uh, keep the good work. Um, See you. <laughs> yeah, I hope to see you in our Vilnius office. Thank you so much. Yes, you're very welcome, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching this video. 
make sure to subscribe and see you. Bye-bye.